Welcome back, everybody. Joining me now is an Academy Award-winning actor you know from The Deer Hunter, Pulp Fiction, and Catch Me If You Can. His new film is Wild Mountain Time. Please welcome to A Late Show, Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken, thanks so much for being here. Hi, Stephen. Good to see you. You know, I, uh, we have met before, briefly, a few years ago, but I've never had an opportunity to interview you, and now I get to interview you over Zoom, which I understand is a particular rarity, because is it true that you have never owned a computer or a cell phone? Yeah, somebody had to come and set this up because I, I don't have a cell phone or a computer. And is there, why don't you have one? Are you uh, morally, philosophically, emotionally opposed? No, no, I, ju I just got to it too late. You know, I think I'm right at a certain age where it, it just passed me by. And I never got, uh, I never got uh, to involved in it because it, it would be strange to have, you know, any 10-year-old any be, be much better at it than, than I, I am. So I, uh, the other thing is, uh, you know, cell phones and that sort of thing, it's a little bit like a watch. If you need one, somebody else has got it. And, uh, okay, sure, sure. People are not about letting me borrow things. So no, so you've never emailed, you've never texted? No, never. You've never been on Twitter? No, I haven't. And sometimes on a movie, they'll give me a cell phone, but um, it's more so that they can find me. Uh, it's like a tracking collar? The tracking like an ear tag, like Jacques Cousteau. We're going to track your migration. And if I want to use it, somebody has to dial it for me, and that's a, that kind of thing. Um, are we catching you at home right now? Is this is this? Yes. Um, I'm what, in Connecticut. What is something that people might not expect to find in Christopher Walken's home? Well, I I have a small room where I keep. Uh, you know, memorabilia and, and uh, mementos and things like that. And uh, I, I thought you might be interested. And I, I, I have Muhammad Ali's, you know, Muhammad Ali in the early 70s, his title was taken away. Sure. And he, people don't know it, but he, he appeared, he did other things. He appeared in a Broadway show and he had a, he had a, a kind of an act where he toured. And I was working in, in a theater in Canada and he came through town with his uh, show and he left his boxing trunks uh, to be auctioned for charity for the theater. And I went and I got them and I brought them for you to see. So you, so you I, have Muhammad Ali's boxing trunks from the period yes, of time it, that he wasn't allowed to box because he was a conscientious objector to Vietnam. Yes, and, and uh, they, he inscribed them, uh, Muhammad Ali, uh, 1971, uh, the real champ. Can I see? Do you have sure. them? Sure. <laughs> That's fantastic. Have you ever been tempted to put them on? No. Oh, where am I? <laughs> no. No. Um, I when I got them, I, they were. Uh, I had them framed, and, and they've been there ever since. Did you ever did you ever meet Ali? I did. I sat next to him once at a at a movie uh, premiere, and uh, I couldn't believe I was sitting next to him. And then, when it was over, people were kind of standing around, and he said to me, "Do you box?" And I said, "No, not at all." And he said. Uh, Pretty boy. That's a long time ago, you know. That he accused you of being a pretty boy? Yeah, he, he said I was a pretty boy. Well, I thought his great claim of, one of his great claims was that uh, uh, I'm so pretty. Yeah, he was, uh, but maybe it was a compliment. I don't know. Maybe, I'll take it as such, take it as such. The, the new film is called Wild Mountain Time. I believe we have a clip. Do you know what we're about to see? I, th I think it's something uh, with my with my son, uh, Jamie Dornan, and uh, his inheritance. Okay. Jim? I don't see a clear path. From where to where? From me to you. Stop. It has to be said, your face is not right. You come up from some other people, 
You're more Kelly than Riley. It's true. You're a Kelly in the face. In my face. He likes the fish. As the Kellys is well known. John Kelly. Daddy, he was a fish. My name is Riley. I'm a Riley. No, you're a Kelly. You take after John Kelly, and that man was mad as the full moon. Drowned himself in the Royal Canal. He fell in. He had a rock tied to his neck. Did you shoot this in Ireland, Christopher? Yes. Where? Yeah. Where, where in Ireland? Well, a, a few hours outside of Dublin in this beautiful farm country. And uh, I hadn't uh, in my life been to Ireland. And uh, I don't know if you've been there, but it really I is have. beautiful. Yeah, it's, it, it was everything they say. And, and uh, where we stayed was an old estate. And they had a rookery where they raised uh, hawks and owls and falcons, and uh, the whole thing was a, a little bit medieval. <laughs> Did you, was it appealing to you, the medieval quality of it? Because they didn't have phones or computers back in the medieval times either. No, no, I, it was a, really, I'd like to go back. Except the hygiene. I, I need dentists. That's, I would love to go back to the Middle Ages too, but I like penicillin and dentists. No, they, have, they had lots of that, and... Uh, Oh, you mean go back to Ireland? I thought you meant go back to the Middle Ages. You had me worried no, no, there. No, no, Ireland. No, I don't need oh, yeah. the Middle Ages. Oh, no, no. I would love to go back to Ireland, too. Um, now, Wild Mountain Time is also, if, correct me if I'm wrong, it's about enduring love, a subject with which you are familiar. Uh, my wife will be thrilled to know uh, of your example. You've been married to your wife, Georgianne, for 51 years. What do you think the secret is to an enduring marriage? Well, like a lot of things in my life, I think that uh, there's a big element of luck, you know, I knocked wood, but, um, you know, that, that sort of thing is, is serendipity, it's copacetic, it's, you know, you just get lucky sometimes. And, uh, you know, the idea that your wife may have walked into the room and you were looking the wrong way and, and uh, you, you never met, uh, those things are possible. I think it helps if if both people are easy to get along with. And, uh, and of course, uh, friendship, uh, being friends is very important, you know, liking people that you're with. Are you easy to get along with, Christopher? Do you think, do you yeah. think, think of yourself as, uh, as easygoing? Y yes. Do you, mean, think, do you think that people who are actually easygoing think of themselves as easygoing, or, or do you think that's a warning that maybe you're not easygoing because you've got a high opinion of your easygoingness. No, I think some people are mistaken about that, but I'm not. <laughs> well, Christopher, thanks so much for being here. It's so nice to talk to you. Thank you, Stephen. It's a pleasure to see you. Wild Mountain Time is out now. Christopher Walken, everybody. We'll be right back with Chance the Rapper. <laughs> 